Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, tonight we have got to talk about New Mexico. We got to take another trip because last week we handed them a backhanded slap factory around the magazine band that fell flat on its face. Didn't even make it out of committee. To be honest, an abject failure. But they didn't stay down long, and the Empire is striking back because on this side we've got HB9 coming out. Now, HB9 has cleared committee. It is a safe storage law. You're talking about criminal status, misdemeanor charges, $1,000 fines. This is not something to be taken lightly. New Mexico, it's time to stand up. You are bigger than you think you are. Let's make this happen. Now, I know Jared at Guns and Gadgets did a video very similar on the same content tonight about an hour ago. Check that one out if you want to see a different perspective because he and I are a little bit different, but same content. And I want to know what you guys think in the comments field below. And we got to get into this hard right after I talk about the sponsor who has made this possible. SDI, Sonoran Desert Institute. With more than 350 million firearms in the United States, the time has never been better to learn to be a gunsmith. Sonoran Desert Institute offers online firearms technology education with hands-on labs and materials shipped right to your door. Course topics range from AR-10, AR-15 to 1911 armorer options to shooting sports management, ballistics, gunsmithing, and more. Get your education and turn your passion for firearms into a successful career. Please visit sdi.edu to get started. Thank you again, SDI, for making this 5 Minutes of Freedom possible. Now, let's dive in. We have got some stuff to talk about. So, like I mentioned, this is HB9. That's what you're looking at on the screen. This is a pretty rough bill. This is not great if you live in New Mexico. Relating to crime. Creating the crime of unlawful access to a firearm by a minor and imposing penalties. Oh, there's penalties. When a firearm is accessed by a minor without the authorization of the minor's parent or guardian, the person who keeps the store or stores the firearm is subject to a penalty assessment of $1,000. Provided that with regard to a residence, the person had no reasonable expectation based on objective facts and circumstances that a child was likely to be present. Basically, if you didn't know a kid was coming over, you'll be okay, but how do you prove that? Oh, well, how do you store your firearm when a kid's not coming over? How do you store it when a kid is coming over? Like, this opens up a can of worms that we do not want to open up. The important thing here, guys, this is not passed yet. The law that we're talking, or the bill that we're talking about has passed committee. It's going into the legislature. Now, the tricky, sneaky part is they haven't released the schedule of vote. And because it's a special session, and it's a budgetary session, they can drop the vote at any time and make sure you're subscribed to this channel so we drop it and we can immediately let you know what's happening. But this is a really big deal because New Mexicans can stop this. You guys did an incredible job stopping the magazine ban. You know, the backhanded slap factory. You guys did an incredible job resisting that. It's time to stand up to this. Because your power, our power as individuals, is greater than you can imagine. All it takes is the first person to gather five friends and go and protest peacefully. And you'd be amazed how long and how fast that catches fire. But let's talk about the rest of this bill. Because you guys need to know the facts on this. When a firearm is accessed by a minor and used in the commission of a crime, the person who keeps or stores the firearm commits unlawful access to a firearm by a minor, and you got a misdemeanor. Who keeps the firearm? So whoever owns that firearm, if it's, if it's stolen, if it's taken, if it's borrowed, it's on you. You now have a misdemeanor. That's pretty steep. Okay. The penalty assessment may be enforced by citation written by a peace officer or a parent or guardian of a minor as a civil fine. So your neighbor can now write a $1,000 fine to you in a civil court. You don't need a police officer. You don't need evidence. The, the neighbor could just do this. Someone you don't know could just do this. Do you see the slippery slope that this opens? It's, it's a big problem. When a firearm is accessed by a minor and used in the commission of a crime resulting in great bodily harm or death, Nothing in this section shall be construed to prohibit the concurrent prosecution of the person who owns the gun, essentially. You're contributing to the, the delinquency of the minor, involuntary manslaughter, or any other appropriate charge. Basically, if something that you own causes problem because someone else did it, you're on the hook. Involuntary manslaughter. That's a nice one. All of these things are the appropriate charge. This is a bill that is going to do no good for anyone and save no lives except cause more and more legal firearm owners to be under more and more scrutiny. And that's why we need to stand up. Check out Jared's video. Let me know what you think in this one in the comments below. Send this out as far as you can because New Mexicans, you can do this. 
We're rooting for you on the outside. We believe that you can do it. You did great with the magazine band. It is time to stack on that success and add another one to the belt. That's what I've got for you guys. Let me know what you think, and I will see you tomorrow morning on The Bullet Points. I'm Braden, signing out.